Welcome to another video by my channel. In this video, we will discuss ciliary body. So let's begin. Ciliary body is the forward continuation of the choroid at the aura serrata. So it is the forward continuation of choroid at aura serrata. In cut section, it is triangular in shape. It is triangular in shape. The anterior surface of the triangle forms the part of the angle of anterior and posterior chambers so its anterior surface forms the part of the anterior angle of the anterior and posterior chambers in its middle the iris is attached in its middle the iris is attached the outer side of the triangle lies against the sclera with a supracoroidal space in between the inner side of the triangle is divided into two parts the anterior part about 2 mm having finger like ciliary processes and it is called pars plicata high yield point pars plicata and the posterior smooth part about 4 mm is called pars plena so anterior part is pars plicata while the posterior part is pars plena microscopic structure we have discussed macroscopic structure now we will come to microscopic structure from without inwards Ciliary body consists of following five layers. First one layer is supraciliary lamina. It is the outermost condensed part of the stroma and consists of pigmented collagen fibers. Pigmented collagen fibers. Posteriorly, it is the continuation of supracoroidal lamina. And anteriorly, it becomes continuous with the anterior limiting membrane of the iris because anterior limiting membrane of the iris also contains pigmented cells. Stroma of the ciliary body. It consists of connective tissue, fibroblasts, ciliary muscle, vessels, nerves, pigment, and other cells. And other cells. Ciliary muscle occupies most of the outer part of the ciliary body. In cut section, ciliary muscle. In cut section, it is triangular. It is a non-striated muscle and have three parts: longitudinal, meridional, <coughs> meridional fibers or longitudinal fibers which help in aqueous outflow and circular fibers which help in accommodation and third one is radial or oblique fibers that act in the same way as the longitudinal fibers and ciliary muscle is supplied by parasympathetic fibers through the short ciliary nerves here you can see this is cornea this is sclera this is ciliary body and these are ciliary muscles here it is lens here it is internal limiting membrane then non-pigmented epithelium is present in the internal limiting membrane then we have pigmented epithelium that is present here in the internal limiting membrane uh, in the stroma uh, there is stroma in which ciliary muscle is present connective tissue and fibroblasts etc are present then we have supra ciliary lamina here supra ciliary lamina Layer of non-pigmented epithelium consists mainly of low columnar or cuboidal cells and is the forward continuation of the sensory retina. Then we have internal limiting membrane that is the forward continuation of the internal limiting membrane of the retina. It lines the non-pigmented epithelial layers. Ciliary processes. These are finger-like projections from the pars plicata. Pars plicata contains ciliary processes. High yield point. These are about 70 to 80 in number and each process is about 2 mm long and 0.5 mm in diameter and these are white in color. So these produce the aqueous humor. It is lined by two layers of epithelial cells. So the structure of ciliary processes. These are lined by two layers of epithelial cells and the core of ciliary process contains the blood vessels and loose connective tissue. These ciliary processes are the site of aqueous production. So, these are lined by the epithelial cells, two layers of epithelial cells like this and uh, in, uh, in this uh, ciliary process there are blood vessels present like this and loose connective tissue is present. So these are the site of aqueous humor production. Functions of ciliary body. 
फर्स्ट वन इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एक्वासीमर एंड सेकेंड वन इज सीजलरी मसल हेल्प इन द एकमोडेशन सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट सीलरी बॉडी